a matchup with one of these linebackers on a receiver. You see Taj Harris in the slot at the bottom against Jeremiah Gimmel. DeVito rolls to his right. Nowhere to go, and he is hit out of bounds around the 11-yard line. Chaz Surratt chases him there. We'll see if that plays out for Syracuse uh, as they try to pick up the first down on third down and seven, and Chaz Surratt making the play. That is tackle number eight for Chaz. As Long comes in motion on third and 12. Pressure off the edge. Garwo picks it up. And then taken down for the sack that time, and it's Chaz Surratt. By Chaz Surratt coming off the left-hand side. Garwo trying to go low, but Surratt stays with it, gathers himself quickly after the initial contact. Thanks, Kev. Waddle's got over 140 yards and a touchdown. Jones is over 360 and three touchdowns. Meanwhile, one possession game here in Chestnut Hill. As met and taken down was Galloway. 20 is underway. Big third down and two, and they're going to go with the direct snap here to Person, and he will not get the first down. Back already had some confidence, but it's building. And lead it throw again, and that pass is tipped, and another interception. This time by Surratt. Two deflected interceptions thrown by Ben Finley. By his own teammate. And this one tipped by a defender. They're seeing the quicker passes coming. They're getting their hands in the air, and that's just like a punt coming down. Easy pick for North Carolina. They maintain their 10-point lead. Finley in trouble in the backfield here, and oh, lost the ball. Was sacked by Surratt, coughed it up, and North Carolina comes up with the football. Desmond Evans getting the recovery. Game got to him a little bit. More importantly, North Carolina got to him a little bit. Chaz Surratt with the pressure there. He puts his right hand on the ball, trying to tackle him. And then the true freshman. Not Kelly. Now it's third and 13 for midfield. Bryce will be flushed. And well short of the line to gain, he's going to be double teamed. Chaz Surratt, Jeremiah Gemmel. Combined to make the tackle. Facing a seven-man box, he'll hand it off to Deion Jackson, who I believe lost the football. And North Carolina recovers. Holding that arm that was initially holding the football. You get a helmet right on the ball, the ball pops out. Surratt certainly seems to have recovered it, and Jackson got the worst end of that deal. A helmet right on the forearm that was carrying that football third and 22 pressure off the edge Chaz Surratt got there and brings down Gunnar Holmberg exactly one time in six games pretty amazing sure does. again and trying to bounce outside Roberson but not much there and here again they get into that punch I'd expect some type of switch release working someone up top Fourth the nine pressure he is down Surratt. Chaz Surratt. Surratt played poorly in this matchup a year ago. Does an excellent job there. Jay Bateman told us he kind of knew that Chaz Surratt was going to be looking for some redemption. They bring both inside backers, and Christian Beal Smith isn't able to sort it out. Book had a clean pocket, but no one to throw to. Still surveying the field, and now he'll be sacked. Way at the seven yard line end up dropping their linebackers and just sitting back and taking all of his receivers away great coverage downfield nowhere to go for ian book and three man rush against king on third and 17 scrambling trying to make something happen and he'll be chased down at the 26. run support when they are running the ball with king here we go no hesitation heels defense wasn't really set Cheney, did he get there? I don't think so. The freshman slammed right into a wall in the Tar Heel defense and Chaz Surratt. Over that first year. Try to get the running game going with Harris and there's a flag. There's going to be a hold on Brevin Jordan right on the edge. So another mistake by Miami.